Welcome back. This is Organic Chef with Pepper Chef. Um, we're going to be doing black beans in our quick cooker. That's right, black beans. Um, so let's go over the ingredients. I have some dry black beans, which is about roughly 10 ounces of black beans here. I have 10 ounces of diced tomatoes and about six ounces of crushed tomatoes. For our veggies, I'm using leeks. This is always my favorite, I always say leeks. Um, plus it keeps well at home, um, you know, for a long time. Another reason why I like having it around, so when I run out of all my onions, leeks. Still onions. Okay, so I have red and yellow uh, peppers, one mushroom, because I want to have that umami flavor. Um, because I'm not using a stock today. I ran out of my stock. Um, and we've got four cloves of garlic and some red potatoes. So these are the ingredients that we'll be putting in along with uh, tasting for salt and pepper. And so let's get chopping. We've got our leeks. I'm just doing a rough chop here. What's really important about leeks is that you have to wash them because they're very, very dirty. So wash veggies, quick tip, we're getting chef. So I've got some leeks here. I'm gonna set my quick cooker to sear because I want it, I want it to, to have all the flavor. So when you're searing things, it brings out the essence and the flavor of it. So I'm gonna set my and press start. So I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil. You can use whatever oil you want. Um, I like to use healthy oils, grapeseed oil, olive oil, um, coconut oil, depending on the dish. Um, coconut oil has, very, has a very coconut flavor, it's very strong. So I like it to mesh well with whatever I'm cooking. So I don't use coconut oil for everything and it's very high saturated in fat as well. Okay, so we're gonna let that sear. Add some pepper. Add some salt. Um, I really try to vary salt that I use. Um, you wanna have a nice flaky salt for finishing, nice big crystals. Um, use a nice pink Himalayan salt. Um, get the grinder going. Pamper Chef has a great grinder. Um, for your salt and your pepper. Uh, here goes our mushroom. I love the taste of mushrooms and onions together. I think it's such a great pair. <laughs> mushrooms are in. Oh, I can hear it start to sear. So Pepper Chef has a great tool for uh, de-seeding and de-veining your fruit and or vegetables like peppers um, and it's called the scoop and loop where you can get it all out in one scoop and loop <laughs> so I, I, I think that's kind of cool and a lot of things that I love about Pamper Chef is that it helps to reduce and save time, make things easy, simple, and convenient. So to this dish, um, it's basically a vegan dish. There's no animal products being used here. Um, occasionally, uh, beans, depending on what type of beans I'm making, I might use Worcestershire sauce. Um, in it. I'm not using that today. So just to give you some variances of what you can use. Um, you can use stock in here, vegetable stock, chicken stock, whatever stock suits your fancy. I only use chicken, um, excuse me, vegetable stock. So I'm going to give it a nice swirl here. Incorporate all the fat, salt, and pepper here. 
So the quick cooker is cooking, it's sauteing while I'm chopping my vegetables. Love that. So let's get some garlic in there. I'm not mincing it. I'm not chopping it. I'm just putting in whole garlic. It's gonna break down in the process. And I personally love whole garlic, cooked, seared, roasted, eating it whole by itself. I love it, it tastes fantastic. Um, that's just me. I don't mind garlic bread. Love it. Okay, so our garlic is in. I've got our potatoes. So I'm so thankful for Pampers Chef. I get to re-up my kitchen game <laughs> with some great products that I can have for a lifetime. One potato done. So what I like about adding potatoes to um, any type of fish that I am simmering or grazing is that potatoes absorb all the flavor. So if you can get one potato with your rice and your beans or your stew or whatever you're making, it just is like that nice pop of flavor to go with everything that you're cooking. So I'm just giving it a rough chop here. I'm not entering the chop hall of fame here. I'm just making sure that the pieces that I have are all the same size. That's it. No big deal here. But if you have the chopper, you can get some really nice dice cuts. That's not what I'm going here. I want to have different size pieces. Um, and a variety. Smells great. At this point in time, what I like to do is add some water. Since I don't, I don't have stock, but that's okay. Add some water so it begins to start the cooking process. Smells so good. So, and I'm gonna rinse them. Beans tend to, dry beans tend to have all types of pieces in it, uh, pebbles, um, so it's any beans. Um, so it's very good to rinse your beans, remove any pebbles, or anything that has got caught in your beans, that bag that's from the manufacturing process. That's what I'm doing now. Give it a quick rinse. Done. So now to this, I'm gonna add my bay leaf. I'm gonna add my cilantro. I'm not cutting it. I want the stems. I'm only gonna do it in half. That's it. Ooh. I'm now gonna add my tomato base. Smells so good. I be cooking. And we're gonna add our beans. So now I'm gonna add our water. Water. You should have three cups of water to every cup of beans that you're using. So, um, okay, so now that I have all the ingredients in, I'm gonna add my spice mixture. So you can use whatever spices that you want, um, whatever flavor. Mine's like whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Um, I might have you know, one theme for a whole week like I like everything, you know, Mediterranean or Moroccan or, um, you know, Mexican style. So it all depends on the type of mood that I'm in. So right now I've got some turmeric. I have some paprika, about a half, uh, a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of each. Um, and I also have some korma seasoning 
in here. Um, that's it. And a little bit of, like a half a teaspoon of chili powder. In you go. Mmm, so aromatic, love it, love it. Okay, so in you go. So at this point, I'm gonna stop the saute process and switch the setting to beans. On the lid goes. That's it. So it should be done in about 25 minutes. I'll let you know how it is. We'll be right back. So our beans are done. I've taken off my apron because I am no longer cooking. So let's get our beans. I've also made some uh, skillet rice today to go along with our beans. And I uh, made a herb crusted tuna steak. So let's get our rice. Got our rice. And I'm gonna use my ladle so I can soak up and get that beans and the nice thick juice. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see my black beans and my sauce. So I love the rendition of the potatoes in cooking in with the black beans because they've took it on that nice dark rich color of like you know rich earth the dirt and the soil i love that it's so enchanting to me so let's get some sauce there we go that's what's popping. So I'm gonna garnish it with some cilantro. Stay with me. And I've got my tuna steak. Nice and crusted. Beautiful, beautiful. Some cilantro. Black beans, herb crusted tuna steak, and white rice. Well, actually it's jasmine rice. Bon appetit. Quick and easy. I did it in the quick cooker, making your beans in under 45 minutes with the quick cooker. You saw it here first. So go get that quick cooker. Um, the whole special for the month of April, which the last day is today, I got this for $99. Oh, girl, you don't know. Mm -mm. Or man, you don't know. So, Pamper Chef, I hope you enjoyed this presentation today of black beans in the rice cooker by Organic Chef, giving you Pamper Chef. Stay well, be healthy, be safe, stay blessed from my organic kitchen to yours humbly, Organic Chef. Get cooking! <laughs> Stay tuned.